Hello and welcome back to Tours and Tournaments. We are now in a position to revoke this title from Count um, Witchman Witchmanson. And why do we want to revoke the title? Well, revoking his title means that his primary heir is no longer his brother, which means that this duchy is no longer in danger of taking over this province, and we keep the province. Great. That should be easy. That's an easy task for today. There is a more difficult task. And the more difficult task is talking about what we want to do going forward, because Lotharengia now holds a pretty sizable chunk of what we want. They hold the Duchy of Holland. And I have a plan. My plan is basically, I'm going to use France. And the way we're going to do this is we are just going to attack Lotharengia with France, and it's just going to work. They might be like, wait, didn't they have more troops than you? Hmm. Yes, they did. However, there has been a change in leadership in Alba. In Alba, up here, you can see that the previous king died about a year ago, which means all of his alliances are gone. Now, you're not married to anyone, which would mean that you have no alliances. Maybe it was through one of your siblings, in which case that might be a problem, but look at this. 2.5, you have 2.8, so that's like 5.3 overall. France has 3.7, we have 1.2. If we can combine with France well enough, I think we've got this. Now, France is actually in a war right now. The Upper Lorrainian War in the county of Aachen. So wait, are they actually attacking these guys right now? No. No, they are secondary in the war. Wait, how is Ulich a defender in the war? How is that possible? Is Oh, is Upper Lorraine part of Lotharingia? Lower Lorraine, ah, it is, ah, that explains it. You're actually in an internal war for, for Lotharingia. That's kind of weird, right? Anyway, so this is Upper Lorraine attacking something. So yeah, once they're done with that, they'll be good to go. So I think if we revoke our vassal's title, we'll have more troops. France will probably have more troops once they're out of the war and they've let the troops reinforce. Lotharingia has less allies. I can see this working. I can definitely see this working, and we have a claim. We have a claim on Holland, so we can just take that, and that would be perfect. Now, it does mean potentially we need to do a fast expansion afterwards, but, you know, maybe not, maybe not. Oh no, what, what's the Jure Holland? The Jure Holland is this. Yeah, so we would have to fast expand into Frisia afterwards in order to give ourselves enough land to create the kingdom, but... I think it's a plan. In fact, wait a second, we only need two more de jure counties. Yeah, so actually, once we take this, we'll have the two extra de jure counties, in which case, we only need 500 gold. That's an achievable goal. I mean, 500 gold is a little bit out, and we are 42, but, you know, it's not impossible. And it's definitely not impossible for the second character to win a war, take uh, Holland back, and then, you know, go on from there. Okay, so... You. Titles, revoking. Step number one. I think we're going to wait uh, a month, let troops uh, get to the right numbers, and also give us a little bit of uh, time to get some extra money in. And we'll see how things go. So we formed an alliance with Princess Antoinette of France. Okay, wait, so she's now got land. Is that because her mother died? Uh, wait a second. Wait, is it because... I thought you were the child of France... You were the child of the you were the former child of France. Oh, France's leader just changed. Oh no! Wait a second. Like right now? Oh, that completely changes our plans because now we have no alliance with France. Now we just have an alliance with Princess Antoinette. Well, that's that's no good. That's no good at all. She only has five hundred troops. Well, there goes that plan. Okay. Well. Um, potentially our plan then is to attack Frisia and get ourselves a kingdom, and then uh, take Gellera afterwards. Maybe that's our plan now? It could be. Do we have a claim on this that isn't our vassal's claim? We have his claim on uh, one of the counties, but no, we don't. Mm. But actually, if we had Frisia, we'd be able to declare it as a de jure war, because it de jure be part of our territory if we had the kingdom. Yeah, I think that's the play. And this would also would this also give us enough land? Let me just check. So Frisia. 
That's two extra counties. Yeah, so we may have to declare war against Frisia now to take Thorbjorn's uh, titles. Okay. Wait another month. <laughs> Just letting a little more money come in. We can go to a tournament. Melee. Yeah, it's not really our thing. That's fine. You. I wish... Oh, right. You. I wish to revoke your title. 71% chance he says yes. Alright, let's see what he says. I didn't check if it was tyranny. It might be tyranny. We have a claim though, it shouldn't be tyranny. I can check. I'm going slow in case he declares war. Aha! So he has given me the title. He has gone off. And that is fantastic. Now, do you dislike me for tyranny? No, you see no tyranny from it. So this is just our land now. We now have Zwol. Fantastic. Which means we have another city with a vassal underneath it, who is a powerful vassal. And we have a county, which is going to start giving us money. In fact, we can now increase control in it, and it'll give us even more money. Nice, and we're now at 1.4k uh, troops. Now, Frisia has 1.4. You're allied with uh, Boulogne. Boulogne has... Uh, Point six, okay. So you're about one point eight overall. Uh, so you're about four hundred off. Is this alliance actually worth it as an R alliance? Is that gonna make it? Is that gonna make the difference? That would even things up. I think we need like one more alliance. Well, we have more children. We can we can find another alliance. That's not impossible. Yeah, we have two more children. So let's see, who's the best ally? Asturias. No, you see, the problem with Asturias is I want to stay as far away from this as possible, the struggle. Let's let's stay far away from that. Ostfallen? Ostfallen is great. Look at that. They hold a huge chunk of land right next to us. An alliance with them would not be bad. Yeah, look at that. There's a chance that they might be inbred. Okay, sure. That's one point, uh, sorry, that's 2.4k troops. That's not bad as a deal. Let's do that. Let's get that alliance going. Is there anyone for our daughter to marry out of curiosity? Alba. That would be interesting. Given that was the problem. Is that our best ally? No, our best ally currently is Great Moravia. Hmm. Followed by Burgundy. But Burgundy are Lotharingia's ally, so we don't really want them. We attack attacked by a Northman army, Jarl Otter. Ooh, 7.5k tr uh, okay, troops. And what's this? For the Duchy of Flanders? Wait a second. Oh, no. Okay. We'll get to that in a second. Um, Balaton? Was this? Okay. Sure. Uh, let's try to see if there's anyone who's closer. Nope. Um, nope. You would have to pay for, you would have to pay for boats, so you might not join Toulouse. 2,000... They're not really that much closer than these guys. Okay, so... I think you might be okay. Yeah, this guy right over here. And you're not gonna... You're not that far away. It's an extra 2.5k. I think we have to take it, yeah. We take the alliance. Matrilineal? <laughs> I knew the answer was no, but I thought I'd check anyway. Let's do that. Right. Now we have some allies. Let's go speed four. Let these guys come in here. Okay. So our alliances have just flown up. Now we have an alliance with um, the princess of France, not actually France, with Ostfallen and with Balaton. Fantastic. Here, uh, we already got thoughtful. We probably shouldn't take any more things in here. We could get an alliance without a marriage, though. That's an interesting one. Let's grab that and then switch to Marshall. Yeah, I want to switch to probably pure martial, I think, for us here. Just to try and uh, boost up our troop numbers for war. Okay. I think it also increases troop reinforcement. Oh, it's travel safety. I thought this did more things on martial. Maybe it does more things if you're actually any good at martial. Is anyone good at martial? That was a lie. Nobody's good at martial. How about you? Yeah, there you go. It does a whole bunch of things if you're actually good at martial. Um, apparently, it doesn't do any of those if you're below 10. Okay, well, 
Whatever. Maybe you're getting rid of a negative. Right. We have 10 gold. Are we ready to go to war with Frisia? Maybe. The other option is that we leverage the fact that you're being attacked. Oh, sorry. They're attacking for the Duchy of Flanders. Yeah, so they're actually only attacking for this singular province. Because he does... Yeah, because the rest of this is Frisia. That's actually great for us, right? He doesn't want any of the land that we want. But... He is at war with Lotharingia. That's going to cause them problems. I think we have to go crazy. I think we have to declare war on Lotharingia. We have no money, but... I think if we declare war, get some of our allies in this one, we would crush them. I think we have to do it. I think we have to declare like this. Yeah. I've done it. We've gone crazy. Now what we're going to do is we're going to call in Ostfallen. We're only spending prestige for this, so why wouldn't I? Spending prestige, let's go. We'll definitely call in Antoinette as well. Cool. Uh, and then we're going to wait like a month. Give everyone else time to get their troops closer. We are hostile to these troops. We're not actually at war with them, just as a point. Hostile, not at war. Right. Burgundy joined, which we expected. So that's 2.8, 2.6 versus our side. So we're looking at 6.8 versus 5.4. We are a little low on money, which is why I'm waiting till we get one tick. There we go. It's not going to fix everything getting that one tick of money, but, you know, it will help a little bit. Raise all of our troops. And now we really want to start sieging, because if we can siege, then we can earn money via the sieging. So let's, let's head over here. Let's start sieging the war goal. I'm not even going to engage with their army until the Northman army has dealt with it. Right? Let's make sure we have a, a siege leader as well. There we go. Let's go. Are they coming for us? No. No. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. Are they sieging this because it's easier to siege, I think? That's fine. Uh, low county control, nothing we can do about that. Oh, this siege is going quickly, though. Look at that. It's flying through. Okay. We've won that. We got 32 gold. It's funding our war. You are still at war with these guys. Where, where are you? Exactly. So you must be the person sieging in here that we found when I randomly clicked on one of these ones. Yeah, so they're sieging here, I think. Yeah. So that's the Northman army sieging in Brabant. So they're going to start getting war score soon. Right, we want to take this one. And we want to hope that they leave us alone. Then we just patrol these two and get taking war score and win. This is fine. Siege it. Seven months left. I'm happy with that. That's Burgundy, but we have our troops next to, next to them. That's fine. They're sieging our land, but it doesn't matter because we're sieging the war goal. They can siege our land all they want. This is annoying, but again, doesn't matter. Us sieging this is worth so much more. Also, it's going to pay us money. Mental break. Uh, I'm going to be reclusive. That's fine. We just lose um, prestige. We should probably have a look in here. Uh, let's visit a brothel. Worst comes to the worst. We we get the lover's pox that we already have. There we are. Stress is gone. Lost a little bit of money, but worth it to stay alive. Right, we've taken this. A counselor died. We got some money. We got some prisoners. Let's go. We need to win this battle. Um, we also lost Zawol. So how long have we got? 24 days. We might not have enough time to make it, but we probably have enough time to win the battle. Um, like, we, we have enough time to win the battle and then re-siege it before it gets to a point where we can't do that anymore. I'm going to put my brother-in-law as my spy master because I don't want him to kill us. Uh, and I'm going to put you back to disrupting schemes. Let's go. Thinks we'll be even. They thinks we'll lose. They're leaving, which means they're uncertain about it. Let's wait a second. You guys joining? They're joining. Perfect. Go. He thinks we're gonna win. Um. Okay. Well, let's see. So, oh, there's the four thousand in here. There we go. Arnold came of age. Fantastic. Um, does that mean they, the betrothal can go through? Maybe. New marshal needed. Uh, okay, it's going to be Bertrand, because we need somebody good at the job right now. Uh, I would also like it if he'd do knight effectiveness for us, I think. 
Although raised army maintenance is really nice because, you know, we have no money. So I might leave him where it is. Yeah, yeah, so you need to marry. Not sure why this isn't going through because you're 16 and she's 17. So I would say that's a marriage. I don't know. Maybe she's away. Maybe she's on a pilgrimage or something. Uh, sorry, I was just thinking about this one. Yeah, so she's on a pilgrimage, I think, which is why she's not actually getting married. Allied combatant was slain. Savory is dead. And is, so is Theodulf. He died in my dungeon, though. Count Reynard of Zealand. Um, let you go for a hook. Can I let you go for, like, some money? No, because you don't have any. I could just release you to lose... Uh, it doesn't really get us anything. Uh, the other one? Is that your son? Uh, I think it might be, yeah. So, still have no money. This siege is six months, so it did reset a little bit, but that's okay. We got war score for winning the battle. This is fine. They, they did get some stuff for sieging over here. Weirdly, that's worth 22% war score. No, that's worth 32% war score. What is going on with that? Anyway, betrothal fulfilled. Wonderful. They're married. Let's keep going. How's the other war going for you, Lotharangia? You're losing. The Northman army is here. They're, they're sieging. Okay, there's not a lot we can really do. We just have to... Uh, yeah, we just have to do what we're doing. Did um, Burgundy join that war? They did. Okay, so Burgundy might worry about that war as well. With them retreating past it. Let's go speed 5. Let's siege. Uh, they're heading around there to beat up some army. Not sure what army that was, but that's okay. Child has benefited, benefited from tutelage. I don't know what these six-man armies are, but they keep getting destroyed. New prisoner. You're worth 24 gold. I will take it immediately. We can call in our dynasty member of Zealand to join us. I don't think we can. All right, attack. Oh, that's the Northman army. Oh, come on, man. We need the ticking war score. Okay, uh, we need to head around here then and break this siege. Okay. They head to our capital, we need to break this siege and just go for it, but otherwise we're fine. Five months left versus seven months. We have two months to get over there. That should be possible. Where are you going? Anjou is leaving? Where, where are you going? It is leaving. Okay. Are you just sieging over there? That's fine. Right. And... Pause in a second. I don't like that they're raiding our land, but that's okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. An Anjou is at war with this person? Okay, I accept, but like, I'm busy. Okay. Um, let's do this. Let's attack. 59 days left. I think we have time. I think we have time. I think we're good. And call our allies to war. We have new allies. Ostfaland? Why is Ostfaland not at... Oh, in the other... Wait. What? Os Ostfaland is at war? So why can I call us? Oh, I guess that's saying I could call him to the other war, but it's not our war. Yeah, so no, I can't call him to war. That's stupid. Cool. Right. Oh, they backed off. We want to take the fight, ideally, here. Yep, let's go. We need the war score from winning it. Perfect. Now we want to head round here and win this siege. I would love to beat up the army that's raiding us at the same time, but like, let's not. Let's worry about one thing at once. Um, sappers would be great if we could get there. I don't think we can. Siege effectiveness, actually. Oh, we don't have any siege weapons. Hmm. Uh, prepared conscription lowers the cost of everything and gives us reinforcements. I think that's going to be good given the length of the war. We actually have quite a lot of money right now due to all the sieging we're doing. Switch you over to that guy. Should help us with the siege. I don't know whether he only helps if you actually have siege units or not. I don't know. Anyway. Siege this. How long is that going to take you? Nine months. If they break the walls, we have to go. We lost the war in Anjou. I'm sorry. This is our war though. Yeah, yeah, this is fine. How are you doing in the other war? You're getting destroyed. Lovely. Love to see it. Okay. We won. Switch us up. Let's attack. So we're at 32%. They broke the walls, but it's six months till they win. They have no war score from anything that matters. I think we're good to go. 
Speed five. Yeah, we're going straight there. Thinks we'll win even without these troops, and these troops are joining us. Also, where's Burgundy gone? Oh, there's Burgundy. But I'm just checking. Uh, yeah, they're in these two wars, but they're about to lose all of their troops. Yeah, perfect. Well, I'll let that finish. Now let's have a look. Okay, they didn't get totally destroyed, but that's fine. Keep chasing. Keep chasing. Keep chasing. This is a dead end. You've done this before. Beat him up. Nice. Did we slaughter all of them? They're gone. Yeah, all of their troops are gone. Nice. Okay, let's get 30 gold for you. You still have no money. You still have no money. You're just some dude. You want to join me? You seem pretty good. Yeah, well, welcome, uh, Betsy. Seems fantastic. Right, clear these out. Uh, I want to take Zealand if we can. I know it's the other guy's siege, but like, I'd love to take it. Because it's our taking war score. Uh, so we'll see whether we can just sneak in here and take Zealand. If they look like they're threatening us, we just leave. You know, let us siege it. I think they're going to let us siege it. They're going to let us siege it. We're fine. I was a little worried that they were going to come and fight me for it, but I think we're okay. We're chill. We're all on the same side here. We all hate Lotharangia. What are you do? Okay, so Leal? When did Leal get in here? You only have Burgundy. So what's Leal doing in this war? Who are you? You're a vassal of Eulich? What are you doing? You're attacking Zealand? And because this is Zealand's land, you can attack me? Hmm. Okay, on the march. At the end of the field exercise, it seemed a brilliant idea to practice regrouping an army in disarray. I split my troops and ordered every officer to independently make the way to Amsterdam. Um, okay, of course, by the third day of waiting, but only half of my army in place, I'm now seeing flaws in the plan. Plowwer suggests I ride out with a contingent of knights to find the missing troops with the rest of the, while the rest of the army um, returns home. No, I'm just going to get opinion. I'm busy. I would do it normally, but I'm busy. I'm doing this. I wanted to pause. I might have waited too long because I was trying to pause it there. We have a powerful faction. Who's in this fact? It's a peasant rabble. Okay, it's not really powerful. One of my um, vassals is imprisoned. By who? By Lotharangia. Okay, well, sure. Whatever. Doesn't bother me. Yeah, yeah, get out of here. What did you think you were doing? Right. Prisoners taken in siege. Um, we now have all of the uh, Karul things uh, imprisoned, but nothing we can do with them. We need 20% ticking war score, but we're working on that. Okay. Um, I think we head to Amsterdam and we chill for a second. Somewhere kind of neutral. Uh, can I repair this? I probably should. Yeah, let's repair that now that we have a little bit of money to spare. I would love to take this fight. Let's go. Child of my dynasty, Thetberg, Thetberga, is uh, my son Arnold's son. So this is my second son's son. My first son has not yet married. Okay. Second son's daughter. Second son's daughter. Anyway. It's fine. Right. Head over here and beat him up. This is going to be worth uh, war score. Nice. Okay, we cleared their army again, so they're gone. A superstitious mind. The last time I saw Captain Wernick, he was surreptitiously getting rid of my yellow hat because yellow is an unlucky color for people of my birth. The time before, I had to accompany him on a ridiculously long detour to avoid a sleeping black cat. It's unlucky, he said. I don't even want to remember the time he thought he'd lost his uh, lucky amulet. Okay, I'm going to say nonsense and we're going to move on with our day. Need 8% war score. They're getting desperate. Let's head over here. We need to just block him from getting any further. Wait, you're Bar? I'm not even at war. I'm not really at war with you, I just realized. You're Eulich. You're a different war. I'm just beating up random uh, other armies that happen to be nearby. It's like you're not the enemy? You are the enemy, because you're trying to siege my land. Lil, chill. Get out of here. Actually, we will be at war very soon, but, you know, get out of here. Lutzwind taught Thetberger the high German language. Okay, good job. 
3% war score. I think we might be secure in winning now. Okay. Eat up this one. Okay. Just chill. 100% war score. Enforce demands. That gets us the county of Holland, the county of Zealand, and the bishopric of Briel. Done. Uh, we're not at war, so we can disband our troops. Okay, so Utrecht is now this, so now if we wanted to create the Kingdom of Frisia, all we need is 500 gold. Wonderful news. Wonderful news. Prisoners can be ransomed. Well, let's let's do that. Has anyone actually got any money? You have 10 gold? Wait a second. Can I? Oh, wait, no, it's you who's paying, right? Yeah, so you have 10 gold, so I can get 10 gold for any of you. <laughs> Alright, let's let him out first. He's been in prison the longest. At longest with a 10 gold thing. Wait, I can go to this grand tournament over here? No, I'm, I'd be late, but I, I could think about it. All right, we're making 3.7 a month. We're getting there. Call to war. Who? Ostfallen? You want us to go to war with Stendhal? And uh, Holberstadt. Okay, in a tyranny against you. Well, sure, it looks like you'll win that war. I'll be quite happy to just let you chill and win the war by yourself, honestly. If he complains, I'll join in, but like, I really can't afford to raise my troops. Um, now, we could get rid of Zealand right now, I'm also thinking. Because if we get rid of Zealand, then we'll not be taking a minus 20 on all of our other provinces in terms of tax. We're not actually taking that right now, but we will once uh, a year passes. Uh, it's one of these, says it. Yeah, in 11 months, we'll start taking penalties. Okay. Although we could hold on to it in 11, um, once we get the kingdom, so that might be fine. We also have Count Gerhard as our vassal now. He hates us because he wants to be on the council. I don't have a position for you, mate. I don't have a position for random powerful vassal who hates us. Uh, we'll leave him here for just now. Let's go speed 5. Let's let it roll. I'm sure he's going to deal with his own problems soon. Peasants, stop revolting. Uh, wait, where are you? is this you? Is that my peasant revolt? Why are you getting on boats? How can you afford boats? Where are you going? You're going over here. Okay, level of fame has gone up to illustrious. What's this? You've been invited to Count Sieghard V's grand wedding? Who's Count Sieghard V? I mean, I'm going, but like, who are you? Of... Hohil... Of... Hohenlohi. Ho Hohenlohi? Who? Hen Lohi. Who is he? I mean, I'll go, but, like, who's he even marrying? Matthias Sieghardinger and Umgard Erwinchinger. Who? Who? Okay, like, I mean, I guess I'll go, but, like... Uh, it's it's going to be really difficult. <laughs> this is a difficult wedding to go to. And you know what? Uh, I'm going to actually end the episode there. Thank you very much for watching. Next time I'll try and figure out how we can go to the wedding and earn 500 gold. So, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.